Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So with the upcoming end of support of Windows 10, according to Microsoft, on the 14th of October this year, Microsoft is obviously very persistent in trying to get as many Windows 10 users over to Windows 11. And I've been posting a couple of videos that have been causing a bit of debate because Microsoft wants you to go out and buy a new Windows 11 PC if your Windows 10 device cannot be upgraded or updated due to the very strict hardware requirements, which a lot of users actually think are unnecessary. Now, in regards to the upcoming end of support, I have noticed over on Microsoft Docs an update regarding this status that was updated on the 2nd of May, it was Friday last week, where Microsoft says on October the 14th, Windows 10 will reach end of support. After this date, devices running Windows 10 will no longer receive fixes for known issues, time zone updates, technical support, or monthly security and preview updates containing protection from the latest security threats. Now they have listed four options that they advise regarding the end of support. You can check if your current Windows 10 PC can upgrade to Windows 11. Purchase a new Windows 11 PC. So Microsoft still very adamant that if you cannot upgrade, you need to go buy a new Windows 11 PC, even if your current Windows 10 device is perfectly capable of running Windows 10, but because of those strict hardware requirements, still wants you to rush out and buy a new PC, which as I've been saying, is a little bit cheeky. And I think that's causing a lot of negative feedback um, that Microsoft is getting. But at least with this notification, they have mentioned the ESU, which they haven't previously which I think is, is at least a move in the right direction because this gives you an alternative where you can purchase extended security updates for organizations of all sizes as previously announced last year in April. I'll leave that video linked down below in the end screen. And for the first time, you can purchase an ESU option for individuals. I'll also leave that video linked down below and in the end screen because I think this is the first time in a notice by Microsoft, an official notice regarding that end of support in October, that they have actually mentioned the ESU as another option over and above purchasing a new Windows 11 PC or checking if your Windows 10 PC can upgrade to Windows 11. So just thought this was interesting. Um, just keeping you guys posted because the closer we get to the end of support, obviously it's going to be affecting a lot of users and viewers of this channel. So it still begs me to ask the question, if your Windows 10 device is capable of running Windows 10 without any issues. Microsoft still wants you to go out and purchase a new PC if it cannot be upgraded. I don't know, it just doesn't sit well. And uh, obviously um, has been causing a lot of debate and negative feedback as mentioned. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments once again. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.